Greetings fellow humans, Bad Mark with another transmission from Mac Tech Keyboards. I hope everyone's doing well this holiday and uh, today I just want to bring you a short little story about a switch. Um, the deeper that one gets into this hobby, and when I say one, I'm speaking about me, uh, there's a lot of extra little holes down the primary rabbit hole that one can go into and one of them is for sure franken switching now i recently made a video which got more views than i expected actually and um actually received a positive response it was just me kind of making franken switches on the fly but during that video i actually was talking about one that i intended to make at the time and now that i've made it i'm very happy that i made it because it's a unique switch i think it's I mean, don't get me wrong, I've made quite a few that have different sounds, but it's rare to get something that feels completely different. I mean, I can change the spring weights and get, you know, a little bit more or less tactility, um, a little bit smoother, you know, with linear, different things. But here I've got, I've got a couple of jars. When I say jars, the large mason jars filled with Otemu blues. A lot of times when, um, I buy the EUC boards on sale, uh, and I, like I said, I've gotten a lot of monochrome ones for about $8.99, and RGB ones for like $14.99. So um, a lot of times when they're on sale, one of the only options is for blues, which I'm fine with because I have plenty of other switches that I can put in there, you know, to replace them. But you know, so I ended up taking them out. Now, one of my first mechanicals actually came with blues. <laughs> I kind of liked it for a while, not even lube. I mean, nowadays I, I listen to it. I, I do need to work on it, but unfortunately it's one of the ones that has the LED that goes through the window and has four legs. So it basically, it's an 87, you know, it's a TKL. So 90 times four, do the math. I mean, I'd basically be doing 280, roughly 280 uh, solder points if I just took the switches out and, you know, to, to uh, tune the stabilizers and basically, um, lube the switches <laughs> obviously I'd probably change the switches at that point but I don't know if I'm gonna actually entail that big of a job anyway one day I was just like what can I do with these blues now there are two different types of clickies there is a click jacket which this blue is which basically just means it has a, a tail a little extra piece of plastic I'll show you in a second that hangs on to it um, and then we also have what are called click bars and that basically means that the uh, stem has an extra little leg on the back end of it and there's for all intents and purposes it's like a spring bar but it's just straight and it's sitting there and when that leg hits it it just kind of bounces and that's what creates the click sound so here i have what's called an otemu silent lemon now i bought these a while ago when they first came out i think right now they're available for roughly about anywhere from 25 to 25 25 to 27 cents a switch i believe i got these i want to say like 17 18 cents a switch super cheap i got a, a few of these now once uh somebody this is a, actually a silent tactile uh but once somebody uses a u4 which this is basically a can't even say it's a it's a wannabe because it just doesn't even come close uh, the u4 has a unique feel and sound to it as the u4t's but it's just it's akin to squishing a bug i just i didn't find these all that great i had a hundred that just been sitting there one day i was like what happens if i mix the both of these because i have taken i i made a batch a while back of jailhouse blues which basically turns in these into a silent tactile for all intents and purposes and it's taking half of an o-ring and sticking it between that click bar let's go ahead and show you what i'm talking about i mean that click bar the uh click jacket oh well sorry i lost it never mind bye bye so anyway we got a blue and unfortunately these being otemus they're not necessarily the easiest ones to open so i tend to just stick and stick to the uh tried and true method of the tweezers so basically i take i don't need any of this We can set this and this aside.
at this point I bring out the replacement spring because one thing that I have noticed I'm a big fan of uh, multiple stage springs two and three stage springs they do add especially they do more for some stems than others but they can add a very unique feel to the, um, the spring or the switch this is a 62 gram um, Pay, Paisen, I guess the brand is pays on. But anyway, I got those off of Amazon. Now we go ahead and open up the uh, Otemu Silent Lemon. Uh, sometimes these are Sometimes these are also not the easiest ones to open, so one has to apply the uh, good old teasers. I prefer legs. But anyway, all right, so we don't need the stem. There's actually another switch I made out of the stem, but that's after I desilence it. But that's for another day. We take out the spring, which is a long boy, but it's a single stage. And then we've got our pieces. So we've got the bottom housing, the top housing, the click jacket, and like I was explaining to you, it has this basic tail, as you can see. So when this is pressed, when this goes back up, this little bar bumps into the rest of the switch, hence making that click sound that you hear. So what I'm doing to avoid that click sound being a hindrance and actually adding to the sound of the switch actually not only adding to the sound but to the effect allowing it to still you know do its click without making too much noise and the way that I'm doing that is actually quite simple all right so in order to do this I go ahead and take the the blue click stem and I add some of my 8020 this is 80% super lube grease with 20% super lube oil mix tiniest little drop right there at the spot where it's actually meant to put just a bit too much but it should be okay at that point I slide it right into the top housing and then go ahead and put the spring in place And I do my lube method, which I call my time budget lube, which is just a tad at the top. I just refilled it so there's some air pockets. A tad of grease at the top of each of the rail stems. And then I just do a half circle. Oh, that was a little much. So I just spread it. because so I basically just want a half circle of grease oil around right, the right in the middle of that two-stage spring. I take this, make sure that I'm lined up the right way. Before I close it, I prefer to make sure that the stem is all the way in. And I try to do it in one fell swoop so that there's no damage to the leaf spring. And sometimes one side goes in before the other. But now, so here's one that I've already made and broken in a bit. And here's the sound. So what's unique about this switch, now it does have a nice tactile sound, it's not the deepest, but it is really nice. It almost has a bit of a typewriter feel. The click bar adds an actuation event that kind of feels like a more of a pushback than your normal tactile switch. So it's kind of like a one bump down, two bumps up. So it does give it a very unique sound like I said this combination I found another combination that actually sounded a little bit deeper but didn't have the same didn't have the same feel so I ended up picking these uh, this combination as the best with the spring I, I tried different size springs I did try different housings as well um, before I ended up on this one and yes I tested one before doing the rest of them so I did enough for a 68%. Well, actually, now I got a couple extras um, to probably make some more because I believe I ordered 110. For right now, I'm just calling it the 
blueberry and lemon. Um, I don't know what else to call it. Uh, uh, but I just figured blue, blueberry lemon follows along with fruit names, huh? This is, uh, like I said, the, the blueberry lemon. Um, I doubt you know, anybody's going to try and make it. But if for some reason you have some of these silent lemons laying around and you're not using them and you got some blues, I mean, I'm, I'm going to guess this will work with uh, some of the other click jacket blues as well, as long as the uh, tolerances uh, are good. And I mean, this is actually, we have t the tiniest amount of north to south wobble and the tiniest amount of east to west not wobble. But the housing is nice and tight. The stem, nice and tight. And the... It just, it has a very interesting feeling. And the closest thing that I can come to it that come to describe it is an electron not an electronic but like a yeah one of the older but starting to be electronic typewriters they had that still that tactile event but it wasn't as hard of a push if you remember those old singer typewriters or um oh god there were so many brands i can't remember anyway that was uh just a little story of a switch that i made today called the blueberry lemon um I think it's an interesting little switch. If you think that you want to give it a try, give it a try. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I think you'll find that I, I'm going to do the sound test. I think that it. I think it sounds pretty good. But like I said, I found another housing, and the housing was actually a light blue, so aesthetically it worked better. But for some reason or another, even with the two-stage spring, it just did not give the same effect it, i think it was the, the different leaf springs it was a leaf spring from a um, linear switch and this is a leaf spring from a tactile switch so i think that's what helps to give that extra bump that it gives so anyway i went ahead and loaded up a whole set of these into a kbd 67 light revision 2 and i've got the um this is dasher mt3 dasher uh, by Mattel. So I will be do leaving you guys with the sound test for now. But as always, I hope that you had a wonderful day today. Keep calm, keyboard on.